Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you how to rig a line game character with Duik Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's go to window and enable Duik Angela and change work area like this. So in this time select the layer 1, 111 and 11, go to solo, this is for left hand and click this icon for the background and right now select layers, press T, open opacity and change opacity like this. So in this time go to pen tool, let's make line for bones, let's make one bone like this and here and here. Ok, don't click station tool, go to click this icon for bones and click humanite select this arm okay we have already bones and right now let's select this bone this is main bone let's change name 111 and this bone 11 and last bone 1 so in this time let's select this layer 1 link to bone 1 select this layer 11 link to bone 11 and select this layer 111 let's link to 111 bone and select these three layers change opacity 100 percent and unsolo and close these layers so select these all bones let's unsolo okay in this time select these all bones again with this b arm and go to click auto rig Waiting for auto rigging. Okay, so in this time we have new controller for this hand. And let's select this controller, let's see. Okay, very nice. And let's change name hand left. Okay, so in this time select this bone 111. Let's link to body. Ok, select this body layer, let's see, ok that's good, and select these bone layers, and click this icon, select also layer hand layers, like this, and click this icon, and click here for hide all layers, ok we have only control layer for hand left, ok right now let's make sound for right hand, Select layer 222, 22 and layer 2. Go to solo and press T, change opacity. And again go to pen tool. Let's make one line here and one here and here. Okay, so in this time go to humanite, click arm. Okay, that's good. And select this first bone layer change name 222 and this 22 and this 2 so let's make again links select layer 2 link to bone 2 and select 22 layer link to bone 22 and select 222 layer link to bone 222 and select these hand layers change opacity 100 Percent and close settings and unsolo. Also select bones, unsolo. Select all these bones with B arms and go to auto rig. Okay, and select this new controller. Let's see. Nice. And select this 222 bone link to body. And again select these bones, click this icon and select these 222, 222 layers, click for height and select this controller, change name, hand, right. And let's see, nice. And select this body, let's change movement like this, okay very nice. And make someone for foot layers, select layer 3 and 33, 333 and go to solo, press T, change opacity 50 and zoom to layer 
and go to pen tool let's make one line like this and one here and one here okay go to humanite select arm and waiting for building bones and change name select this again this main bone chain name 333 and this 33 and this 3 and go to foot layers change or paste to 100 percent and let's make links select layer 3 link to bone 3 select layer 33 link to bone 33 select layer 333 link to 333 bone and let's unsolo these layers and these bone layers select 333 let's link to again body and select these three foot layers and go to again click auto rig So again we have new controller, let's see. Nice and change name foot right. And select this 333 bone, link to again body. And select these bones, click this height, and 303 layers, click height. Okay, select this body, let's see. Okay, very nice. So select these finally four layers, select 4, 44 and 444, go to solo, press T, change opacity and go to a pen tool, make one line here, one here and one here. Go to humanite, click arm and change names, first bone change name 444 this 44 and this just 4 so select layer 4 link to bone 4 select 44 link to bone 44 and select 444 layer link to 444 bone and select these 4 layers change opacity 100% hide layers and unsolo all these layers Select these four bones, go to Auto Rig. Okay, select these controller, change name, foot left. Okay, nice. Select this 444 bone, again link to body. And select these four bones layers, click height, and select four layers click for height let's select body okay very nice so let's make rig for tail select this tail go to solo and go to puppet pin let's add one puppet here and one here and one here Clicization tool select puppet here and go to click this icon we can see your add pins. Let's click add pins. Okay, we have three pins. Select pin three, link to pin two. Select pin two, link to pin one. And select pin one, let's link to body. And select these three pins, go to auto rig. So select this controller, let's see. Nice, very good. And change name, tail. So, let's hide these layers and select these bones, let's hide and tail, height, select body, let's see. Okay, nice rig. So, in this time, let's create new null object, right mouse, go to new and null object. And hold control, double click pen behind for move to anchor point center and click tool, let's move to here. So select this hit down, go to solo and go to pen behind, move to anchor point here. Click session 2, select this head up, go to solo. Let's unsolo head down and let's move to like this. Click session 2 and unsolo. So select this head down, press air, let's see. Nice, very good. And select this head down and up, link to 
null object one. Select null object one. Let's see. Okay. And select this. I close. I black. And I open. Let's link to null object one. Select null. Let's see. Nice. And select this here. Go to solo. Okay. Link to null object one. Select null. Let's see. Okay. Change rotation. Okay, so let's create new controller null object, right mouse, new and null object. And let's select this here, press R, chain rotation. Okay, select null, change name head, controller, full. And hold control, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center again. Click station 2 and move to here. So, select this null 1, link to head controller, full. And select it controller, press R. Nice. And select this here, change opacity 100%. And let's see. Nice. And select new one. Let's select this here. Let's link to head controller. Select new again. Let's move to behind this here. And chain rotation. Okay, let's move to behind a little bit like this. Okay, very nice. So, in this time, we can make full animation with this rigging. For example, I will make very really simple animation. Let's select this body and press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down, or let me show other way. Click time duration, right here, plus 10, click OK, and select body. Move it down a little bit. Go to 10 keyframes again. Select first keyframe. Copy pass. Select keyframes. Make easy. And for loop animation, hold Alt, click this time icon. Go to play button, property, and use loop out duration expression. For down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay. And go to select middle keyframe. Let's move right a little bit to right. Let's see. Okay. Say keyframes for long animation. Hold Alt, move to right for slowly keyframes. Let's see. Nice. Let's again hold Alt, move to right. Okay, I like it. Let's change quality for no quarter. Okay. Select this head controller, link to body. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. And right now, select this tail. And let's press P. Let's make random animations. Make new passing keyframe. And go to here. Let's move to up. And go to here. Move to right. And go to some keyframes. Move like this. And here. Move to down. Let's see. Okay, select so keyframes, make easy. Nice, and let's select keyframes, copy and go to last keyframe, Control V for paste, and go to here, paste. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's select this head down and Go to here, press air, open rotation, make rotation keyframe, and go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation like this. Make keyframes easy. Let's see. And go to here, change again, zero. Let's move to right a little bit. Okay, say keyframes, copy, and go to here, control V, and here, and here. Okay, nice. And let's select this hit controller. Press R. And here. Let's make rotation keyframe and go to here. Let's chain rotation like this. And go to next keyframe, change zero. Select keyframes, make easy. And select middle keyframe, move to right. 
Okay, that's good. And say Q frames, copy and go to here. Let's control V and here control V and here control V. Nice. And for ice animation, select this eye close. I will make frame by frame animation. Let's zoom to here and enable eye close. Let's zoom here and go to three Q frames. One, two, three. For go to frame by frame Q frames, use page down in keyboard. And after go to three Q frames, go to edit and split layer or control shift D. Delete and select this eye close, control D, move right for random eye close animation. Okay, let's see. Nice. Okay, so guys, that's all and thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.